What's up everyone, this is CyberKnight8610 and today's video is sponsored by Loot Anime. They sent me one of their loot crates to open up for today's video and uh, yeah, I've heard that this theme is uh, back to school. And also I've heard that uh, there is some Digimon theme stuff in this crate. So I thought it'd be cool to open this up and uh, show you guys what to expect from this month's loot crate. And uh, yeah, so enough talk, let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, here we go. Here is our loot anime box. Let's go ahead and open this up. I already cut through the tape on it, and uh, let's see what's in it. So first off, we have a tie, and that is uh, from uh, Danga Ropa. I think I said that right. I hope so. I've heard of this anime. I haven't seen it, but uh, yeah, there's actually a tie in this, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. But yeah, here we go. Here is the tie basically white and black and also has like that uh, red circle on it. Again, I haven't heard a lot about this anime, so I don't know really what all of that symbolizes, but it looks really cool. So, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't really wear Taz too much, but that's still really nice looking. It looks nice enough where you can actually wear this and, uh, you know, it just has a cool design to it, so people don't have to know the anime to think you have a cool tie. Then after that, we have a bento box, I believe is what this is. I'm not really sure on the anime. I know at the bottom of this box, too, they have uh, a poster that will also say what everything is in the crate and also what anime it's all from. This is pretty neat. Bento box. I, I kind of wonder if anyone's actually going to use a box like this in, in the U.S., you know? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, you can still put, like, dice and everything in it, so that opens up, I assume. There we go. Yeah. It's a, it's a cool little lunchbox. Basically a Japanese lunchbox, I guess, is what a bento box is. I think there's even, yeah, there's chopsticks on the top. So, <laughs> that's kind of cool. But yeah, I might end up like using it to put dice in or, or something. I don't know, but I think I want more food than this. <laughs> now that I think about it, too. It's not that big of a box. So there we go. And then after that, we have Assassination Classroom uh, Dry Race Board on this. I've heard about this anime. It's one I need to check out because I've heard a lot of great things from it. And uh, evidently there's some magnets there and Dry Race Board itself. So that's really cool. And I just like the way that, the, <laughs> that he looks. He just looks hilarious. It reminds me of like, it looks like an evil uh, Walmart logo or something. You know, when they used to have the smiley face. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome. I'm going to have to check that out because that looks really cool. And after that, you always get a charm with your loot anime crate. So for this one, of course, going with the whole school theme, as you can see, it's like a notebook. That's pretty cool. Subject uh, EPX. So episode X, I guess, is what that's supposed to be. So there you go. It's like a phone charm that you can put on there. It's kind of a more popular thing in Japan, too, because I don't believe that uh, really anyone uses phone charms here in the U.S. Then after that, we have... Okay, these are like little figures. I'm not really sure what they're from. Again, we're just going to see from the poster at the end. But yeah, that's cool looking. That's the first one. It's like a rice ball hat. <laughs> is that what that is? That's also smiling? Yeah, it has a face on it. <laughs> I have no idea what anime this is from. I don't watch just a ton of anime. I try to keep up with everything, so let me know in the comments if anything that was in this crate, you know, is an anime that I need to check out. So there's another charm for us. Yeah, it's like a cat hat looking thing. And then another one, which I... Is that like a cow? I think that's a cow <laughs> for, for its hat, so... There we go. And then uh, next up we have a manga. And this one is for Persona 3. So I have uh, played through a lot of uh, Persona 4. And uh, now I want to go back and play through the other games and everything too. And uh, might as well start reading some of them as well. So that's really cool. I think this cover is supposed to be exclusive to loot anime as well. So there you go. <laughs> that is really cool looking though. Persona 3, uh, tell me in the comments again, should I go back and uh, what, what's like the best games of the series too, because I've really enjoyed Persona 4, again, I haven't completed it yet, I need to, but uh, tell me in the comments what other ones I should check out, because it's been really fun. And then now for Digimon Shrine, now this is the thing I'm most sad about because I love Digimon, so I can't wait to see what they're going to do on that, and they just announced recently that they're going to dub it in English, which I'm hoping is going to be good. I've heard a lot of the original cast is returning too. So it looks like we have some different prints. They're from like, basically like from the trailer that we saw. So there's Ty and Agumon. Then all of the uh, Digidestin grown up, which is a picture we've seen a lot of, which is really cool. I mean, these are nice quality too. They're heavier paper, by the way. And then with all the Digimon. So that's cool looking. And then this, I guess, just a, yeah, <laughs> just a piece of paper to, I guess, make sure they don't get bent 
on there, but there we go. That is really neat. I'm going to keep like even this little sleeve-like thing. So, yeah, the English dub... Oh, there we go. We actually have the info. English dub movie releases on Thursday, September 15th, 2016. I think it's sort of a select theater thing. I don't know. I'm going to have to check it out for myself. I guess go to that website and you'll see more info about it. But uh, I know they do it with a lot of anime movies, so if it happens to be shown anywhere close to me, I'll definitely go and check it out. Maybe even do like some kind of review sort of thing. I know I want to do that for whenever the Yukio movie comes out. So we'll have to see. And then this is our poster, so let me unfold this and it will also go through everything that we got from this. Alright, and here's our poster. Had to kind of zoom out a little bit so you guys can actually see the poster. <laughs> but it's still not zoomed out far enough, I guess, but there you go. I'll have a better setup next time for the next opening, that way I can show you guys the poster a little bit easier. Because it's actually, you know, it's poster size. <laughs> so that's kind of hard to put on camera whenever you zoom in to uh, do the opening. And then, of course, on the other side, we have everything that's in the crate. So it kind of talks about it and gives you some info on it. So first off, the keychains that I didn't know about, they are from Fruits Basket. So I've heard of that anime. I thought they looked kind of familiar, but uh, yeah, that's cool. Also, again, Assassination Classroom whiteboard. So I knew on that one, at least at least it had that one that uh, written on it, too. So that made it a lot easier. So that's cool looking. Then, uh, of course, you have a Revolutionary Girl a Bento Box, Persona 3 Manga Volume 1, which I already showed you guys. Then the uh, cosplay tie, you can see, kind of has a little write-up about it as well. And then, of course, our back-to-school charm. And then our Digimon Tri prints that they have the print set. And also, too, uh, with any of the loot crate and loot anime boxes, you can actually fold this and, uh, what is it, like a desk? I don't know, let me go ahead and fold this together and I'll show you uh, the finished product, if I can do this, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how close we are to what the picture shows us. And yeah, there you go. I think I've assembled the box correctly. Anyway, it's supposed to be a desk, obviously, for back to school. It even has a little cup for your uh, pens and pencils, which is really neat. And even a book on that, too. So, and also, if you guys want to get your very own Loot Anime Crate, all you gotta do is go to uh, lootcrate.com slash cybernet8610. Of course, that is the referral link that will help out uh, my channel a lot, too, if you guys want to use that link. And also, I even have a coupon code, which will save you 10% off of your crate, which is cybernet8610 is the code for that. So, basically, it's my username for both of them. I'll have everything in the description too if you guys want to check out for yourself. Uh, yeah, I thought it'd be cool to try and uh, open up more of these crates in the future. So just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more loot anime crates on this channel. And if you enjoyed, you know, just kind of something a little bit different. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. As always, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, uh, be sure to leave a comment and tell me whether anime I should check out for myself. So uh, just give me some suggestions in the comments. Like this if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! related content as well as more loot anime uh, crate openings if you guys want to see more of these in the future. Again, as always, thank you guys for watching, and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya! Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cybernight Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cybernight CCG for Cardfight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya!